Hey everyone, it's Tyler the Antenna Man and today I'm going to review this 5 star amplified outdoor antenna. It has a built-in amplifier, rotator, and claims a 200 mile range. How well does it actually work? Stay tuned to find out. If you're seeing me for the first time, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit that little bell icon to receive a notification whenever I post a new video. This video is sponsored by the Wondershare UniConverter. It's one of the most powerful video converting, downloading, and editing tools out there. You can convert videos into dozens of different file formats, download videos from websites including YouTube, compress videos, edit videos, burn DVDs, rip video files from DVDs, and so much more, including removing the background from pictures. With the video editor, you can trim and manage clips, add a watermark or subtitles, and apply really cool video effects. Follow my link in the description of the video to try the Wondershare UniConverter for 30 days free. You don't even have to download the software, you can convert files right within your web browser. Before I get into details about this antenna, I want to make it clear that there's no such thing as an HD or digital antenna. If you're looking up an HD or digital antenna, you're doing it wrong. Click the card above to learn more. So this antenna sort of seems like a minor upgrade to the world famous junk antenna I tell people not to buy, but they buy it anyway. This is not a 200 mile range antenna. TV signals tend to disappear over the horizon about 80 miles from the broadcast towers due to the curvature of the Earth. So any antenna claiming beyond 100 mile range is an exaggeration and in my opinion, false advertising that the FCC should do something about. This antenna is very similar to the junk model I tell people not to buy, but they buy it anyway. It has a very similar design, built-in rotator and amplifier, but the build quality seems a bit better. While there is some plastic within the antenna, there's a lot more metal and it's more sturdier. The VHF reflector up here is also larger, which should in theory improve VHF performance. What is VHF and UHF? VHF TV stations broadcast on channels 2 through 13 and typically require a longer antenna element to be picked up, while UHF TV stations broadcast on channels 14 through 36 and are better picked up with smaller antenna elements. If you look at this antenna, you'll see the long element here is designed for high VHF channels 7 through 13, while these smaller elements are designed for UHF channels 14 through 36. It's also very important to understand that most TV stations don't broadcast on a channel number you may know them as. For example, in Philadelphia, there's an NBC 10, and the average person would think, oh, they broadcast on channel 10, so I need an antenna with good VHF capability. They actually broadcast on UHF channel 28. The same is true for most TV stations across the United States and Canada. The current digital TV standard allows them to broadcast on a different RF channel than what is shown on your TV set. So again, if you have like an NBC4, don't assume that they broadcast on channel 4. To find out what channels your local TV stations are broadcasting on, go to antennaweb.org, type in your address, and click that little check mark that says the antenna will be installed 30 feet above ground level even if it's not, and it will provide you a list of stations you can likely pick up at your location. Look at the RF channel on each station. That's the channel the stations are broadcasting on. So for example, WBRE 28 actually broadcasts on VHF channel 11. If you don't see any channels listed on antennaweb.org, don't freak out and assume you won't get much with an antenna. The website tends to underestimate how many channels a person can pick up with an antenna, especially if they are using a piece of junk. You can also use the FCC DTV reception maps or rabbitears.info. I attach links to both in the description of the video. How well does this antenna actually work? I tested it out in the same location I tested out various other outdoor antennas to see how it compares. Here are the results from the last two antennas I tested out on my YouTube channel. From left to right, you'll see the TV station, the call letters, RF channel the TV station broadcasts on, and the results of the previous two antennas I tested out on the YouTube channel. All of these TV stations are about 42 miles away with one mountain ridge between my home and the broadcast towers. 
You can also see the results of various other outdoor antenna models by checking out my other videos. The signal on CBS3, which broadcasts on UHF Channel 30, didn't come in on this antenna for some reason. Maybe the station was off the air. The signal on NBC10, which broadcasts on UHF Channel 20A, also did not come in. WPHL didn't come in, Fox 29 didn't come in, and WHYY didn't come in. Okay, so what was this about? Why did none of the stations come in? Maybe it has something to do with what I mentioned in many previous videos of mine. The true problem is with the built-in preamp. It's known to fail in a short period of time. When the built-in preamp here goes, you lose all reception altogether. The internal preamp on this antenna was bad right out of the box. It's a known issue with these generic antennas from China. Even if the antenna works out of the box, the preamp is known to fail within a short period of time. And when the preamp fails, you lose all reception, requiring you to replace the whole antenna. If you don't believe me, check out one of the comments on the video reviews of the other antennas with the built-in rotators. Many of my viewers back up my claim. If you're considering purchasing this or a similar antenna model, listen to me very carefully. Don't do it, it's junk. If you're lucky enough to purchase one that actually works outside the box, it's basically a ticking time bomb waiting to fail. Don't bargain hunt with an outdoor antenna. You'll spend more on junk like this that doesn't work than you would with a decent setup. I'm sure there's some of you out there that will say, oh, I have this antenna or that one you talked about. It works great. I get 50 channels. You just want us to buy a more expensive antenna. No, I don't. The goal of my YouTube channel is to help people get the best reception possible the first time. Not get a cheap antenna that's going to fail within a few months. It's really hard to accomplish this goal when Amazon is flooded with cheap pieces of junk from China. It makes me so angry that my hard work gets hidden beneath the lies of HD antennas and 200 mile range claims. I'm so mad I could literally smash this antenna with a rock. I think this suffered enough. Did it not? No, maybe it needs to suffer a little bit more. There's still some back reflectors on here. In case you didn't get the memo, don't buy this antenna. <laughs> Stick with a reputable antenna company like Channel Master, WineGuard, Antennas Direct, Televis, or RCA. You can also sign up for an antenna recommendation from me on my website at antennamanpa.com if you're not sure what antenna model to purchase. I run a reception report at your location, take a look at the frequencies and signal strength, determine what antenna will work, de determine what antenna will work best for you based on my experience testing out over 50 antenna models and installing them in four TV markets. Thanks for watching my YouTube video and please stay away from cheap junk antennas. And if you're one of the people that's gonna defend these antennas and say, oh, I get 30 channels with it, it works good. You're a fraud. Uh, go ahead, you're a defender of junk. You're officially who I refer to as a defender of junk. Don't defend junk, get a decent antenna the first time. An additional thanks to everyone who supports me on Patreon or as a member of my YouTube channel. If my videos helped you cut the cord or if you just think they're cool, maybe you like seeing me smash antennas and would like to support my videos while getting exclusive perks such as behind the scenes content, access to my videos ad free one day early, and direct contact with me, visit patreon.com forward slash antenna man or click that join button in the video. If you're on Facebook, you can like my Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash antenna man PA. If you're not on Facebook and would like to receive email updates on whenever I post new videos, feel free to sign up to my email list. I attached a link in the description of the video. Stay tuned to my YouTube channel for more cord cutting and antenna related videos and have an awesome day.